This presentation is a summary about the history, process, and effect of the inkblot test, which was created by Hermann Rorschach. The story begins in Zurich, Switzerland, where Hermann Rorschach was born on November 8, 1884. Rorschach was educated in a very intellectual area inspired by Swiss psychiatrists. He studied medicine in Zurich, Nuremberg, Bern, and Berlin, and eventually specialized in psychiatry. As Rorschach studied psychiatry, he took a special interest in psychoanalysis and art and drawing, and the connection between the two. By 1913, Rorschach published articles about analyzing mental patients' artwork to learn more about their personalities. Rorschach studied two people during this time, one of them being this man, Alfredo Benetti, who in the early 20th century used the inkblot test to study the creativity aspect of the human brain. The other person was this guy, Justinus Kerner, who through chance produced inkblots by folding a piece of paper that the ink had been dropped on. Then in 1857, he published a book full of poems inspired by the multiple inkblots. With the influence of these two men, Rorschach created the inkblot test, which he said created responses determined by the peculiarities of the perception, which in turn were dependent upon the underlying structure of the personality. With the compilation of these inkblot tests, Rorschach published Psychodiagnostic in 1921, which had little popularity then, but became a major topic among psychiatrists in the 1960s and 70s. So basically when an inkblot test is performed, the test taker is shown the 10 original inkblots in Rorschach's test. They then are asked to point out the things that they see in the inkblot as the administrator notes their responses. The administrator takes many things into consideration, such as if the test taker hesitates to answer or if they pick up the inkblot test to look at it. This says something about their personality, according to Rorschach's scoring method. The test taker's responses are compared to common answers of what is considered a mentally stable human being. It is thought by Rorschach and other psychiatrists who agree that what a person sees in the inkblots reveals some things about their personality or thought process. Negative responses to inkblots may show signs of depression, paranoia, violent behavior, etc. It is believed that what the test taker is feeling will come out even if they don't want to talk about it. There are many critics of this test because serious conditions cannot be caught by it, although it is helpful in diagnosing some mild conditions. But it is only one of many tools that are used by psychiatrists to diagnose mental disorders. And that's about it. The end.